Hi and welcome to my Python YouTube channel. It's awesome to have you here. If you like this video, a thumbs up would be great. And make sure to subscribe for future videos. I also have a blog at prospercoder.com with lots of cool stuff, so feel free to check it out. This is part 2 of our Slug Race Kiwi series. We're going to create a game application with rich graphics. If you haven't seen part 1, make sure to do so. You can also read a written version of this video on my Python programming blog at prosperacoder.com. Now that we know what we want to do, the question is how to do it and what software to use. We will need a minimum of two things, Kiwi itself and a text editor or IDE where we can edit our code. This is all we need for our environment setup. Let's start the environment setup with Kiwi. Kiwi is an open source Python library for rapid development of applications that make use of innovative user interfaces, such as multi-touch apps. Well, this is what you can read on kiwi.org, not my words. So I suggest you visit the Kiwi website, kiwi.org, and read more about Kiwi if you're interested. And when you're ready, we can install Kiwi. This may change, but at the time of writing, this is what it looks like when you go to the Help tab, here we have Help. Now click on Getting Started with Kiwi. In the sidebar, select Installation. You can now download Kiwi from the link that you can see on the top of the page over here. After that, click on the icon of your platform for further instructions. I use Windows, so I click on the first icon. There are a couple of options depending on whether you use Kanda or not, for example. I wouldn't be able to explain to you how to install Kiwi in a better way than you will find on this website. The information you can find there is also up to date, which is also important. Therefore, I'm going to stop here and you can now take your time to read the instructions and install Kiwi on your platform. For the next steps, I assume you have Kiwi installed on your system. The next thing we're going to need for our environment setup is a text editor. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. You can use any editor or IDE of your choice, but if you want to follow along and use the exact same editor as I do, just feel free to download and install it from their website, which is code.visualstudio.com The installation is pretty straightforward, so I'm sure you'll be able to do it in no time. Now with Visual Studio Code installed, open it. Now your Visual Studio Editor will probably have a dark theme, with which it counts as a default. If you like the light theme better, like I do, you can change it in the settings over here. Color theme. And you can choose something like dark or there are some other options too. And you can choose any theme you like. Now, in order to use Kiwi and Python in Visual Studio Code, we'll need at least the Python extension. So click on Extensions, it's over here, and then type in Python in the search box. Then install the first extension in the result list by clicking on the Install button. Well, you can see the install buttons here, but you can't see the button here in the first extension because the extension is already installed on my machine. And that's almost it. You're almost ready to start coding, but there is one more extension worth installing. When you work with Kiwi, you can either write everything in Python code 
or you can separate the logic of your application from its graphical interface. Separation of concerns is the way to go in most cases, except for the most trivial ones. And as our application is not going to be extremely trivial, let's go for the latter option. We'll be using Python for the logic, and for the layout we'll be using the Kiwi language. It's a special language designed for Kiwi that makes the separation very clear and simple. Don't be afraid, it's not difficult, and you will appreciate going this way very soon. There is an extension in Visual Studio Code that you can install. This will turn on syntax coloring, for example, and generally make your work with the Kiwi language much easier and more pleasurable. Just like before, type in the name of the extension, Kiwi, and install the extension by clicking on the Install button, which, as before, is not visible here because I already have the extension installed on my computer. Now, with the Kiwi library installed and the text editor installed, along with the two extensions, you're ready to get your feet wet by writing some simple Kiwi code. In the next part of the Slug Race series, we'll be writing a basic Kiwi application. Ok, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.